guys, welcome to science class today. Uh, here, uh, talking about and today, what we're going to talk about is uh, mountain formation, specifically stuff that's happening here in Arkansas, or the Washita Mountains, and specifically uh, Pinnacle Mountain, which we're probably a little more familiar with. Uh, Pinnacle Mountain is the most eastern uh, peak in the Washita Mountain Range, which uh, goes from uh, Little Rock uh, out west, uh, uh, really uh, into um, into Oklahoma. Um, so uh, we're going to talk about how this formation started uh, and how it got to where uh, it's where it was, or where it is today. Excuse me, uh, since it's so still around. All right, so we're going to talk about. Quite a long time ago, as you know, in geology, uh, we spend a lot of time thinking about crazy long time ago. All right. Uh, if you think about how long you feel like you've been uh, out of school doing socially distancing school, um, you know, if you think about dates wise, you know, it has been, um, you know, what, a month um you know, just a little bit more than a month. And it feels like, I don't know, six years. I can't remember a time when we were actually in school. It feels that long. But uh, geology-wise, it's, I mean, we're not even close. Uh, so we're talking about millions of years ago. So we're going to talk about what was going on in Arkansas 500 million years ago. All right. And what was happening in Arkansas 500 million years ago is we were underwater. All right. We would be, uh, hopefully have a boat. Because uh, if not, we'd be swimming or other negative things. Um, and so in Arkansas, we had, um, we had ocean. Um, the Ozark Shelf is up towards Fayetteville and from Fayetteville across the northern part of the state. Um, so where we are um, would have been in this more deep part of the ocean. If you look at this map up here, you can kind of see, uh, kind of see what that looks like uh, right here, that this would be the continental shelf um, and that we'd have your shallow oceans and then your deep uh, deep part of the oceans. All right. Um, this was again from about 500 to, you know, about, about 300 million years ago. So for quite a, quite a long, quite a long time. All right. So as scientists though, we should stop and say, okay, how do we know this is true? Uh, we don't have any records, written records, obviously from that long ago. Um, so how do we know this? One thing, one reason we have is that Whenever you see sandstone and shale, which makes up a lot of, uh, of the Washington Mountains, um, those are sedimentary rocks, right? And those sediments had to, uh, had to be built up over many, many years, right? And that sediment also typically is dropped through oceans. Um, and so all of the erosion would have been taken downstream from North America um, and then would have been deposited. And you can see these uh, these white and these brownish, tannish, pinkish layers would have been different types of sediments that would have been dropped uh, over there. Um, and that's evidence that we know that there was an ocean there. Other things are um, limestone deposits as well, which only shows up from sea life uh, shells. Those are basically uh, shells being broken down. Uh, also fossils of ocean uh, and aquatic animals that only show up in oceans. Uh, those uh, fossils showed up. Uh, in these layers here, which also lets us know uh, why we know that there was an ocean uh, ocean here. All right, so we move on in time, and uh, we uh, write, you know, sometime in this time as well, we also have, all right, uh, this sediment turning into, uh, turning into mountains, right, turning into mountains. Um, so we have uh, what basically happens is we had a convergent plate boundary. So I'm going to get out of this slide presentation real quick and take a peek here. All right, now I want you to look at this simulation. I want you to ignore this mountain, this this volcano. This is a generic. Um, what we had going on here is we had the North American plate and this other plate. Um, which th this was quite a long time ago, but we didn't have the same plates we have today. It was a plate that, that we, we believe, ge geologists, I believe, uh, was part of the uh, the South American and um, African plates. Um, basically, we had these two plates crash together, right? And as they crashed and pressure happened, we had the mountains and the land being folded, folded, 
and then and folded. And so that's this is a conversion plate boundary. All right, and these are these folded uh, folded mountains. Um, the, these actually formed the same time as the Appalachian Mountains, um, but over time they were kind of pulled apart. Um, so we have these folded mountains happening. There we go. Uh, with these folded these folded mountains happening, all right, and we're starting to see a shallow sea is starting to form right across here. Uh, so we're starting to see this uh, really uh, really deep ocean is kind of starting to change because uh, these plates are coming and crashing and smashing and smashing together um, uh, as well. Now we still have shallow ocean. You still see this plate has been pushing. Uh, we can start to see these layers being folded and pushed. We also get some cracks. And in these cracks, you see right here, uh, the rocks gave uh, places for quartz crystals to form. Uh, basically, these cracks allowed igneous material to uh, our uh, rocks to, to flow in, which were a lot of our crystals, um, and especially quartz, uh, quartz formations in, uh, in here. All right. So these two plates collided, the plate, bound, for, plate, plate, plate blount, boundary, excuse me, which created these folded, uh, folded mountains, almost like a car crash where the front end of the cars crinkle up. So uh, almost, almost like like that, and this is actually how the uh, Washita Mountains were actually formed, including Mount Pinnacle. All right. So shortly after this, what happens uh, now is we start to see more pushing um, and more uh, more of that convergent boundary, and it's pushing these mountains, these Washita Mountains, really tall, really, really tall. Uh, we're getting. Uh, you know, estimates are, you know, 10,000 feet would not have been out of the question or even higher. Uh, so these would have been, you know, as tall as mountains as you, we see uh, in, uh, in North America. And the ocean gets even shallower, and we see that these mountains really push above, above the waterline. And we see this all, if we look on the map, all becomes shallow sea, all right? And part of Arkansas, northern Arkansas, is just, is, is no longer in the sea. All right as uh, as as well as this, as this continues, all right to to move. However, just like all mountains, what happens? Erosion, right? So over the millions of years, remember we went from 245 million years to today. Um, they have been being eroded and broken down to less than 3,000 feet. Mount Magazine is about 2,600 feet. Um, Mount Nebo uh, is above 2,000, I believe. Mount Pinnacle is just above 1,000. Um, and those are some of, of what's left over um, of, of Pinnacle Mountain um, and the and, and the Washington Mountains as they continue to be eroded and eroded and eroded down uh, to where uh, to where they are to, to where they are today, all right? And how we and how we see them. And it's all these geologic processes that are working together uh, to to give us this this area we live in today, right? Where Benton is, right on the edge, uh, right in the ed on the edge of Benton. Uh, as as well, and you see today, you see our map. We can see that there are no no oceans. Obviously, right? We have to drive uh, quite a few hours to to get to ocean. Um, so um, that's kind of where we are. We can see this is where the Wichita Mountains are in relation to other states uh, as uh, as as well. All right. So one thing I want to mention, if you didn't catch it, at this point when the Wichita Mountains have already peaked up, this is when we're going to start to see dinosaurs show up on earth uh, so you think about where do dinosaurs fit on here uh they are they are right here most of the um uh dinosaur remains we find in arkansas um, is really footprints and a lot of footprints more up up on this area here on the on the ozark uh plateau is where we is where we see some of those uh, still still left over if you're interested in that go ahead and google it you can find there's uh, there's a, a few a few um, a few pictures that shows a place that uh, that's shown. Um, so what, um, so, and again, 10,000 feet tall, gets eroded down, um, continuing even, even today. Um, so how did, how did Pinnacle Fort and Mountain form? Volcanic eruption? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Look at that. No. I hope you're like, what are you talking about? There's the, there's the 430 bridge. Uh, 
from uh, at least this two rivers park here. Um, so obviously, no, it's not volcanic eruptions. Um, no, it was from ocean sediments being deposited, right, in layers, right, across here. And that's what made all these rocks, all right? The plate tectonics pushing, smashed and folded and pushed up, all right? Pinnacle Mountain and other, other parts of it are much taller than this right here, right? And then erosion, right? And erosion with it, all right? And the way we can tell from erosion is if you just go to the top and look, all right? If you look towards Little Rock from the summit, um, you're going to see not a whole lot of, uh, of geologic um, areas. You're not going to see mountains or valleys. You're going to see the start and move out to our to, to Little Rock, Arkansas River Plain, um, and then the Luvial Plain, which goes over into across the state. But if you turn in the other direction, uh, you're going to see the Ozarks. You're 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 going to see all these. All of these are, are mountains that were a lot lot taller that have been eroded over and over and over and over, right? And each of these little pieces, you can see these valleys uh, and ripples. You can see those are all just erosion erosion from the last 245 million years all right and that has getting us to where uh to where we are today um and this helps us see what's going on with the geology here in arkansas all right um is we have sedimentation happening just like you did with your crayons all right and then you had plate tectonics pushing up that sedimentary rock uh folded to higher levels all right and then um you know uh, erosion, breaking those sediments down, breaking those rocks back down, and cycling that material back and over again. Um, and we still have a little remnants left of that, which makes, I think, Arkansas an awesome, beautiful place to live.